hey guys in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to make a background image pounce like this uh, using uh, react native and uh, animation it's super easy to do so I'm quickly just gonna show you how to do it and yeah it's gonna bounce up and down like this so we're gonna just put this function into the component did mount so as soon as you open the app uh, you will have the background image like bouncer uh, and you will see it. it's super quick and super easy stop it so guys as soon as you create a project with the uh, react native in my case i'm using an exponent just to make uh, my life a little bit easier you will see this kind of page uh, with uh, just like a normal text open up the app.js to start working on it up uh, the first thing that we're going to need we're just going to need the dimension that is gonna that we're gonna use it to get the dimension of the screen and uh, the other thing that we're going to use is the image as we're going to use uh, a background image uh, we're going to need also another thing uh, just to make uh, just a tester and for debugging purpose but if you want to leave it like you can leave it we're going to need the detachable highlighter so every time we touch on the image uh, we will uh, repeat the function over and over we're gonna also going to need the animated that is uh, also provided by react native and there's also easing it's called easing that it will allow our variable for the animation to increment or decrement uh, easily i will explain that later or in another tutorial uh, anyway to get the screen of the user we're just going to have a variable we're just going to have a variable that it will be the height height and the width and this will uh, equal to dimensions dot get I think window yeah window yeah that's it then we're going to need uh, our constructor our constructor yeah let's open and close and then we're going to need a uh, super you don't we need it, but I will split. We going to use uh, only one variable for now. That it will be our variable that will use the animated library of React Native. We can call this. Let's call it. Let's call it background. Background image that is equal to a new animated animated value that let's initialize it 0, 0.0 uh, the animated value can uh, only start at 0 and can finish at 1 so you cannot have a variable like uh, 2, 3 or 20 or 100 you can only start at 1 uh, at 0 and finish at 1 uh, most of the times if I need to do a long animation what I do I can make it start from 0 0.01 and make it finish uh, I don't know at 0 0.9 or one itself but let's keep it zero for now let's keep like things like simple uh, we're going also to need the component did mount as we're going to call uh, the animation function as soon as you open the app so let's uh, let's try to call uh, let's try to create a, a, a method animation and uh, let's leave it empty for now and uh, we're going to call it this dot animation here yeah. so we're going to need to call it as soon as you open the app inside the animation we just want to what we want to do we want to make sure that the that the variable animated is a zero so we this is just in case you press again and again the background image if you press the background image once huh? The value of 0.0, .0 will go to one, and if you call again the the method, it, the animation it won't happen. So we need to set back again the value to zero. So we can say this dot background image dot set value, and we can set it back to zero. After this, we need to create a constant that will uh, take uh, our function of the 
which is called uh, Spring. Spring is a method uh, developed by Facebook uh, that will allow you to bounce up and down the pictures. Uh, so basically to zoom in and out. Uh, to do this we can do const let's try to make it simple create a animation image it will be a function that will take uh, the value and will take the easing to allow an easy transaction of the variable and uh, let's not put any delay let's do delay equal zero and then what we can do sorry we need to return animated dot spring in this we need to call the value that you passed uh, on the function that the value will be the variable that we initialize i'll explain that in a minute and uh, we want to set to the value we want uh, the variable to reach the value one we want to have a friction of uh, let's do 0 0.1 for now we can change it later Let's allow the easing and uh, let's do the delay. That for now we just set it to zero. But in the future we can set this to any number that you like. Uh, finish this. Yeah, close here. A close here. Yeah, done. And uh, in order to call the animation, we can either do a parallel animation. Or we can do a sequence animation. I always use the sequence ones as uh, imagine if you're going to have an app that will have uh, many animation you want to create an array that contains all the animation that you want that you want to be happen one after the other and so I'm just going to use the sequence animation which is more easy to use and is I prefer to be honest and uh, so we call animate a sequence we open an array in this array we will take this constant that will contain the function of the spring in this as we we need to insert the value we need to insert the easing and uh, if you want you can insert the delay by 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 default is zero uh, so the variable would be this dot background image we want to have the easing here also we want to pass the value and we want to pass the variable after this you can do dot start which this will uh, start the animation all right so once you finish your uh, animated sequence of your animation you can uh, go ahead uh, and uh, yeah let's try a container let's try to create a container first absolute and yeah let's give this the container i think so let's try to create a touchable highlight so the touchable highlight uh, let's try to create a touchable highlight uh, which on press uh, on press what we will take we will uh, try to call the animation method again so we try to call this uh, dot animated <laughs> animate any this animation and uh, we want to bind it yeah and uh, we want to bind we want to bind this to it so let's try to which will highlight here so inside here what we want to do is we want to call the animated uh, there's a method called dot image yes sir. and uh, what we want to give it we want to do a style but the style that we're going to give it is uh, what is it Sorry. 
the style that we're going to give is uh, we're going to give a width which will have the width that we declared so this width uh, is the width that is taken by this variable from the dimension of the screen of the user and we're going to do the same for the height is equal is equal height right why is it not working so width is equal sorry, width all right all right so, 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 so this this what we're also going to do we going to transform so transform what we want to transform this is the variable of the animation we want to scale what we have on the image let's put scale and we want to scale this dot background image and uh, we also want to give it we need to give it the source so the source it will be to require require set and I want to give it image of this of Lupin let's try to copy this which is on my assets folder paste it here jpg and then uh, let's try to close the animated and then let's close the animated image and this should be it yeah let's try to let's try to run it yay we got it boom let's try again oh that's a little bit too much Damn, a lot. That's really bouncy. Let's try to make it a little bit more. Yes, so to change it a little bit, I don't want it to be start from zero. Let's try to make it start from uh, from what from zero point seven. Let's try this. Yeah. So yeah, guys, have you seen how? How not bouncy it is so let's try to press again yeah it's not that bouncy now so I put it back to 0 0.8 every time you start that and obviously if you want to change some stuff and uh, that means you need uh, you can try to go a, a, a little bit higher or a little bit slower it's up to you but yeah this is how you do it and I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so much please give me a like or comment in the video if you need anything and subscribe to my channel thank you so much